You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I... Well hello there I literally just stopped filming the last video And I thought you know Instead of procrastinating, I'm just gonna jump right into the next video, which is where I'm gonna talk about this nursery and how I did it in, a, in an affordable way, but yet I, I believe it's still functional, beautiful, and just the essentials. In my last video, it was kind of a nursery tour and just kind of the setup of this nursery. We live in a very small two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Our entire home is 990 square feet-ish. And we moved here with the military from a three bedroom house to a two bedroom apartment until we can find a house we wanna buy. So with that being said, this nursery is like kind of also the storage room. AKA like that's why I have suitcases in her closet. Uh, it's because there's no storage closets in this house. So our clothing closets are the storage closets. With that being said, I'm excited to share with you different things and items in this nursery that I got for free or for really, really cheap, cheap or that I made myself. Um, and then that way, as you're kind of putting together your own nursery, you can do it at an affordable rate. Because for me, like I have watched so many of these videos being pregnant, I want my nursery beautiful and like, I don't know about you, but for me, like I've always wanted to be a mom. So like having like a crib and like a nursery and having a freaking chair like this is something I've always wanted, but I did not want to go spend a thousand dollars plus on a nursery. And it would be way too easy to do that because just, I mean, just this one thing can be $500. So I'm about to share you how, share with you how I got so much of this for free and for cheap and just kind of go through it really quick with you. And hopefully you can take something away from this and have a beautiful functional nursery for yourself that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Okay, so since the camera's already there, I'm just gonna kinda talk about what you can see. So let's talk about the crib. I was gonna buy a crib that also turns into a toddler bed like the transition beds from Amazon for around $125 new, but somebody actually gifted me this crib for free. When I say I got it from my uncle, it's because he got rid of all his baby stuff from his daughter and I claimed a few of the items. So this uh, crib was free, thankfully. The sheets and the mattress protector, I just got that really cheap off of Amazon. I will link everything below that I have like bought or know that I have the exact link from because I love doing that. Like I love when I go to someone's YouTube video and they have linked it all because then I can just shop from there, add it to my Amazon cart, add it to my baby registry. So these sheets are super cute. They have elephants, I will link that below a little is it called macrame i think macrame hangers or something first of all i just want to say i bought those and thought they were going to be about this big <laughs> they were tiny they were minis um but it's fine like i think it worked out but i thought it was going to take up a bigger section of the wall uh, but it didn't but that's why they were eight dollars i was like wow this is so cheap um but i actually love them i put those screws in the wall myself and measured it it's even i just, i'm really proud of that like i'm the type of person that cannot put together a puzzle so that's an accomplishment for me <laughs> this chair i got from my uncle but i will say you can find these glider chairs on facebook marketplace for super cheap i actually was literally scheduled to go pick one up from a local gal for like 40 bucks uh, and then my uncle let me know that he had one that he would gift to me so that is something you can buy used because just those chairs new on Amazon are 300 and something dollars. I got this bobby pillow for free from Facebook Marketplace. And like that might not be your thing. You might be thinking like, ew, that's disgusting. But I didn't think it was disgusting. It was from a clean family, a smoke-free, pet-free home. I washed the pillow and I washed the... Um, what do you call it like the cover and like here's the thing when you get free things if you get home and you're like this is too dirty or not the quality i want throw it away it was free so for me like it's always worth going and picking up this actually turned out to be in amazing condition and the family was so sweet classy it was a beautiful home so like score i'm not the type of person that's like ew like i'm not going to use someone else's used stuff Yes, the hell I will. <laughs> I want to share with you this. I think it is the coolest, the coolest thing. It is like a silicone, I want to say, um, little nightlight. And I think it is so beautiful and so cute. You can buy these at Lowe's for like $10. 
you can kind of tell it's illuminated, but it's so bright in here. And then you can change it to different colors. So like now it's yellow, pink, you get the gist. But what's really cool about this is one, it's not gonna break if it falls over. And then when I am in here, whether I'm nursing her or rocking her to sleep, it's really awesome because you can just touch it. Can you tell it's getting brighter and changing colors? Exactly, I think that's cool. So basically, while this is sitting over there on the blue shelving unit that I have, I can just reach over and kind of bop it on the head and turn it on. It gets really bright, it lights up the room, or it gets really, really dim. So I think this is super cool. Yeah, I don't even have anything else to say except I think this is super cool and it's cute. <laughs> and this is the blue shelving unit that I mentioned. I have my breast pump supplies in here and some books and this is from Walmart. Very old, had it in college and it is still lasting me. I have this little play mat. You can get these at Target for like $25 or so. You can also get them used on Facebook Marketplace. I actually got mine as a gift new, so really grateful for this. It's like one of the only new things I have. And then this little bouncer, I think it's called, a bouncer. Yeah, so I got her for free off the curb. Um, really good condition. I took everything off. So like every piece of fabric on this thing comes off and I washed it through the washing machine. And like there are two stains on here, probably from food or formula. One little stain is right there. And then you can see a little yellow one right there, but I have cleaned it. It's been washed like, Every single part of this, even this, I sanitized. And it also came from somebody within our military community at our last base in military housing. So, like, the people there kind of have a classy reputation. It's not just, like, like from the hood behind a dumpster. It was, like, a clean garage sale. Uh, and I got this for free, so garage sales are, like, insane for baby items. And then let's talk about this lamp. Because I'm really proud of this lamp. I just want to say, this lamp was yellow like like this kind of yellow when I got her. Not not looking too good, um, but she was all of $10 off of Facebook Marketplace. I painted her white with chalk paint. I'm not like the most efficient, beautiful painter, crafter, but for me, I'm like, I think it's beautiful. And then the bulb that came in, it was like a an older yellow bulb, so I just popped in like a very light, bright, whatever you call this, like the blue bulbs, um, so that it's like a specific type of white light. And then I just kind of redid the lamp and I paid all of $10 for it, plus the light bulb I already had, and I chalk painted it. And it's beautiful. Okay, now this girl. Do you know what that makes me feel like? You know Tank on Surf's Up when he's like showing off his trophies and he's like, this is Linda, this is Brenda, this is Brittany. <laughs> Helga, Miss Kitty, Jeannie, I dream of uh... Teresa. That's how I feel like talking about my furniture right now. This dresser is so beautiful and so functional and is like in great condition, rolls right, right on the rails. Like she's a 10. And when I found her, actually my homegirl found her for me at this garage sale, snapped a pic for me and my husband went and picked it up. So technically I didn't even find it, but it was a blessing because she was free, curbside pickup. And by curbside pickup, I mean sitting by the curbside waiting to be picked up by the, the garbage people. <laughs> uh, this got thrown out and like in a garage s garage sale style setting. Does that make sense? And she was brown. And I do not like dark furniture. So I painted her. I painted her gray with gray chalk paint. And I painted the knobs white. Um, and I think it is so beautiful. Like this dresser to me is so pleasing to the eye i just freaking love it i'm obsessed with it free like when you get something for free you don't mind paying 15 dollars to paint it because you're like i got this for free i have a friend who's having a baby right now and she just paid 400 500 for the baby's dresser i was not gonna do that like i said in my last video i would rather spend my money on activities going to the water park camping going out to eat going to see something a science museum like something fun not just like one big expensive piece of wood in the room like that's not that's not how i like to spend my money i like to spend my money doing things so for me used furniture it is 
I'm like really the angle queen today. As far as wipes and diapers, I can't really give like a testimony for my own child, but it just doesn't matter anyway. Watch any video, 19 people swear by loves, 19 people swear by honest, and the bougie expensive brands, and hello bello, and some people want the Costco brand. It just depends on your child and their skin. However, I do trust the Honest brand's ingredients, and I have some of their wipes from my friend Sandy. She gifted me. And then Arbonne has super clean, non-toxic baby care products, and I have used this on babies when I nannied, and it works great, the diaper rash cream. So I have this on deck already, and some Honest diapers, and then I have some water wipes, and then I have Huggies and Pampers diapers, and Little Rascal and Friends, or whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> Um, and we'll just see kind of what works best for my child's skin, but at least I kind of have different brands on deck up and around the diaper change area. Okay, so this is fun. So for these three photos, I created these graphics on Canva, downloaded and printed them myself. I added the text and everything like I just created them from scratch. And then I bought three silver frames from Amazon, which I'll link below, and I literally put computer paper inside of the frames. And you can't tell it's computer paper. Like, it looks like a photo. I think it's so beautiful. And it was free other than the fact I paid for the frames that were like 24 bucks, I think, so not expensive. I have the baby monitor mounted and plugged in. That goes with this monitor as well as I can watch it from my phone. Really affordable baby play gym. Her play gym is kind of just tucked in the corner back here for now because she's not here yet. <laughs> and once she is here, I'll probably just leave that in the living room with a blankie for her to kind of lay under and play under. But like she's not coming for another month. So there's like just no point in like pulling it out. But I like this one because it was affordable. It's pretty colors and I think it's um, cool how it's wooden and silicone. I think it'll be good for grabbing and for teething as well. I don't understand the hype behind diaper backpacks and baby carriers that are hundreds of dollars. Like, dude, this backpack is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I'm pretty sure she was $25 on Amazon, and it has awesome storage. I have a diaper genie. I did get this one new. The backpack was new. Those were gifts from my registry. The VTech monitor was new from my registry. Thankfully, I did have some friends and family buy things for me. This was my absolute favorite childhood toy, and then this is a $5 gift from my mom. As far as this blackout curtain goes, <laughs> I just want to say I freaking love it. I bought these little ropes off of Amazon uh, just because I thought it was a pretty touch. I'm going to pull the blinds and close the curtain. It gets pretty dark in here. Um, and like I could add little Velcro stickies to the side here and just like pop that to the wall. For right now, I don't find that necessary. And I would like for her to be able to sleep without it having to be totally pitch black. So in the last video I shared, I got this ring sling for free from a friend. And then this is my Infantino baby carrier. Um, and I got her from Amazon off of my registry. I think it goes like that. It was really affordable, it's like $25. Those puppies can get crazy expensive. As far as her clothes that are hanging here, and then everything that's inside her drawers, whether it's um, sleepers, whether it's hats, burp cloths, literally pacifiers, so many pacifiers and bibs, socks, hair bows, sleeper, I mean, not sleepers, um, swaddles, all of these clothes, and then this bottom drawer is bigger clothes, once she passes three months old, swaddles, hats, swim stuff, all kind of clothes. I got interrupted again, my husband called me. <laughs> but what I was saying is as far as all of her clothes, um, I got a lot of it used from Facebook Marketplace. People will give away and sell their baby clothes for stupid cheap, like 50 cent onesies, $2 sleepers, five to $10 swaddles that are $30, $40, $50 new on Amazon or Target. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I truly find more satisfaction in things when I've gotten them for a deal because I feel like I've won. Like, I feel like I won as the consumer when I'm like, I got this for free. I got this for free. Rather than like, I paid $45 for this bad boy. Like saying that doesn't make me feel cool. It doesn't make me feel like I'm smart with my money. I love to buy things used or secondhand because it's literally just more money to go do something fun with it. So... I'm gonna close this up. This is her little newborn outfit, oh my gosh. Not for when she comes home, by the way, for photos. <sighs> it's so peaceful, it's so beautiful in here. 
I love it. I love this nursery. I love the white and the gray and the cream. I just think it is so calming in here and so just the essentials. In addition to the, like the storage items that we have to have, hopefully this gives you some clarity on kind of how I did this nursery for an affordable price because I did it for, I want to say we've spent less than $500 on like everything. Oh, last thing that I did buy used. I bought this Fisher Price bassinet used and it's by my bedside because I plan to keep her here with me for a little while. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then I have a little basket down there of some diapers and stuff that my friend actually gave to me from Target. But yeah, so I got that bassinet used for like 50 bucks I think and if you go and look online what they cost brand new I think it's like 160 or so so saved $110 and yeah I did this room pretty affordably and um, I did it in a way that if I have a second child that's a boy I can reuse literally all of this stuff most of everything I have can be reused for a second baby girl or boy uh, including the clothes and that was kind of my idea as well was a longevity for the things that I was purchasing and bringing into my home so with that being said, I hope you liked this video. I hope you took something away from it. And like I said, I'm going to link as much as I can find um, online down in the description below so you can kind of check things out for yourself. But good luck with your own nursery. If you're pregnant, comment below how far along you are. Subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting a lot more mom content here in the next few weeks because that's going to be my whole new life here. Um, and I'm really excited and blessed and I'm really grateful I can document it for myself, but also for you to watch as well if you find it entertaining. So like this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.